Hey guys, so remember I told you guys I would be back. I am going to put him on at least um, this little onesie. It's got a fuzzy on it. Okay. Um, but like I said, um, I was going to talk about budget and price. And um, I try not to talk... I try not to do too much of know-it-all type videos um, because me, myself, I'm kind of tired of seeing them myself or hearing about them or whatever. But um, I did just want to, you know, put it out there that, you know, there are a lot of different price ranges of babies out here um, from blank kits to painted kits to, you know, partials. There's not as many partials as it. It used to be when when um, everything started out it used to be a lot of you know partial kits because partial kits back in the day I, f I felt like they were more affordable so that we could those that couldn't afford the full body we could get the partials and so you know that's like that was the first thing I started out with was a partial because you know it was new but once people realized they could charge almost as much for a partial as I couldn't get it as a um as a full a full body the prices just went out the roof and so um but I don't see them as much because I guess a lot of people more people are you know looking for the um full body um but yeah there's a lot of different price points but you know my thing is if I get close enough to the price of something that I really want I just hold out for what I really want um but you know I have seen some sculpts that I liked that was really nice in a you know different price brackets um sometimes the the whole process of getting a baby and stuff like that may be a little different like I liked one particular um, blank sculpt, but the artist wanted um, full payment, no layaway, and then there was like a three month, three month wait or something like that before you get the the blank. And I was like, mm mm, because I know me, my patience run thin, and I'm not gonna wait that long. And then I gotta give you all my money all at one time, so I'm gonna be sitting with empty pockets. And an empty uh, baby crib. Mm -mm. Sometimes I, I just don't have the patience for it. Um, but, you know, sometimes it's worth the wait. You know, and if, if, but the main part of why people wait a lot of times is because they want to take advantage of the, of the, uh, the layaway. Um, you know, that's why a lot of people like customs because with customs, you know, a lot of times the artist will say, you know, give me a deposit and when the baby is finished, you can make the balance or you can make payments as I work on the baby, stuff like that. And that allows people to be able to afford babies that they normally wouldn't be able to afford because they can budget themselves to where they can pay so much money a month. You know, sometimes it's harder for people to hold on to their money, but I'll tell you guys if it's possible and you can save up your money and just save it up and then have all your money at one time um, when you're looking for a full body baby a completed baby it's almost like the best way to go if you can do that like even if you save for six months and you know just put that money to the side like don't buy anything you know don't buy in between babies and that's hard you know when you really want because that it's always going to be that baby that one baby pop up right when you that thing i need to change the battery that right when you are you know saying okay i'm gonna i'm gonna really really hold out for what i really want so let's say you're trying to save up for a full body silicone baby but you collect reborns and you're really used to buying reborns on a regular basis your favorite artist will always make your favorite sculpt and the favorite paint style you got to resist that. Take that money that you were going to put, put it to the side. Say that doll was going to be $600. 
take that $600, put it to the side and say, hey, uh-uh, that's going towards my silicone. So if you got a price range, let's say you want the max you can pay for a silicone, even if you save up for it, it's $3,500. By the time you save up, let's say you, you save for six months, what happened, what I found happened when I first got my first really, you know, nice sculpted baby, you know, one that I really wanted, um, which was Zoe, I kind of saved up for it. And what happened is when a lot of times us collectors like myself are looking for a new baby or ready to buy a new baby and we'll put a baby up for sale, sometimes we want a quick sale and we may say the baby, okay, we want $3,500 for the baby. But if you be like, hey, I can pay, I'll give you, I'll give you $2,800 right now. Like that's, that's what I got. But I can send it today. I can send it all right now. Versus them waiting and waiting. Sometimes we'll be like, okay, fine. You know, they may say something like, um, you got to pay the PayPal fees or, you know, you have plus shipping or something like that. But by the time you do that, that's only like another extra hundred dollars. You saved yourself a couple hundred dollars. And sometimes, you know, people put them up for a good price because they're like price to sell. So they'll put it way lower than what it normally is. Um, and so, um, when you have the money all together, that gives you the opportunity because sometimes, usually a lot of collectors, when they're selling, they're trying to buy something else and they need that money right then and there. So they're not trying to do layaway and stuff. So you miss out on a lot of good deals that way. Um, some people will say, okay, I'll do a short layaway and it might be like 30 days or something like that. Um, 60 days at the most, but most collectors are... Most collectors, when selling, you know, certain babies, they're usually like 30 days or something because they, they need that money to pay off whatever else they're trying to get. That's that's usually how it works. So, um, but there's sometimes there's a collector that just say, hey, I know I'm going to sell this baby. I'm working on something else. I can do a three-month layaway. And then you get lucky that way. But at least if you have a cush saved up, you know, you're good to go. You know what I mean? So... That's one way to kind of get yourself where you need to go. Um, don't ever feel pressured into a sale. Like if you, and then my other thing is that if you have a doubt, like, you know, for me, um, like, for instance, I'm not going to say the sculpt name, but there was a baby that, you know, recently that I actually liked, but it was just something about it that I wasn't sure about. And I was just like, Okay. And I was I was this close to saying, okay, I'm I'm going to go for it. But because I didn't and I, and I stopped myself in the past, I would have just done it. Um but I really I stopped myself because um mostly when it's a real expensive purchase, I kind of have a little bit more discipline with myself because I've learned um but because I didn't just look at it and instantly like, like, oh my God, that baby, that's the one. You know what I mean? Like without a shadow of doubt, I could see myself with that one. Those are the ones that I like to go after. I've learned to kind of pull back on the ones that I'm like, mm, it ain't quite, you know, because I know me. Once I get it, that's it. You know, um, it's just like with my micro premium that I have up for sale, um, that was, it wasn't a very expensive baby, but the reason why I bought it, I was like, I don't know if I'm going to like the paint style. I'm not sure about this, but she, I like the baby. She looked cute. I was curious, you know, blah, blah, blah. I was, you know, in between waiting and antsy and, you know, it was one of those crazy purchases where really I just wasn't thinking clearly. I just, I just wanted a new doll and the baby is nice and everything, but I already have a baby that same size. So it's kind of like, um, and they're actually over there. I have a baby that's almost the same size. So it was like, I wouldn't have bought it under normal circumstances. Those are the type of deals that you don't want to do. But however, to someone else, the baby came from overseas. Now it's here in the U.S. If somebody's looking for a baby and they don't want to have to wait three weeks or so, like I ended up waiting you know, to get it and, you know, dealing with all that and stuff. Oh, I don't have to wait. She's, she's right here. 
or you know like I said I'll take a little bit less than what I paid for it but and that will and I, I mean I just got it so and all that you somebody will get a deal they'll sell save themselves a couple hundred bucks you know and just saving yourself a couple hundred bucks adds up trust me so you know those are the type of deals you catch you know when when you save up or you know someone's willing to do just a short layaway or something like that and you got money put aside um you know i hear a lot of people be like they'll message me and they'll be like i'm on a fixed income i'm this i'm that you know it, this hobby unfortunately is just one of those things that you gotta save or you gotta have a game plan if you're you know really can't afford it i won't i won't say you shouldn't get get a baby because you're on a fixed income i won't say well this isn't a hobby for you or you just can't afford it although that might be a personal opinion of mine um because i could say the same thing about myself but sometime in life you know we life is so short and we could be here today and gone tomorrow and if you really want to experience you know a realistic doll and that's something you really love and you're passionate about you know i i can't knock someone you know dreams of you know owning what they want so all i can tell you is find a way to do it but you know the burden is not going to be on the seller you know you you can't tell them that you know i've had you know several miscarriages or i've you know i'm dealing with this illness or that illness or whatever and think that that's going to get you in the door or get a deal you gotta have a game plan you gotta save up and stuff like that so um like i said in the beginning i used to watch so many cell phone videos um because i couldn't afford it and then and there was a part of me didn't know if i wanted it because you know when i first came in people were always talking about oh they're real sticky everything stick to them and although you see me picking little stuff off off of him like I'm gonna do right now I am very particular about my babies and you guys can't even see the stuff that I'm moving or trying to pick but they really aren't like as bad as what people said they were like oh my very first one it was like everything stick gonna stick to it and you know you can easily tear it and rip it and this and that and it was none of those things I powdered him because I just wanted to do the powder thing back then. Um, but he wasn't sticky or tacky. And you know everything didn't stick to him type thing. And so it you know a lot of people had scared me. So for months and months I just watched videos. But I was just like I don't think I could spend that money on something that's going to be that much of a headache. And you got to do this. And there's a special kind of care. And all this great jazz right. And they, they you know it's just. You know all this different stuff and i'm just like really people look <laughs> so i didn't i didn't you know i missed out on some babies too because i didn't um i didn't trust it because i'd been watching other people talk about it and i was terrified of the the silicone but anyway um, so I hope that helps some of you guys. Um, like I said, this freaking alarm is getting on my nerves. Oh gosh, it's late. I gotta go. Um, but yeah, so hopefully that helped you guys. And um, just, you know, don't give up. Don't get frustrated. And some of you guys are holding on to dolls that you guys don't even touch or address or care nothing about. Sell them. Sell them. Sell them. Even if you get $400. $400, $300, $200. By the time you look around, you got $1,500 in your bank. Girl, sell them babies. Don't nobody, listen, don't wait till nobody ain't looking for that sculpt no more. Sell that baby. Get what you really want, boo. Like, I'd rather have one good dog than have a whole bunch of misfits. Sell it. Sell it. Girl, be good and soul, girl. They be like, but serenity, I thought you. Mm -mm. He had to go. I, my eyes was on that over there. He, he had to go. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching. 
See you next time. Don't forget to hit that thumbs, but, thumbs up button on your way out and leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. And if you have any other topics that you would like for me to discuss, feel free to instant message me on um, Instagram or Facebook. Comment below, whatever. Some people don't like their topics to be out in the comments. So if you want to privately message me and you want me to do a blind topic for you, depending on what it is. Now, if it's messy and drama filled and you're trying to get me in some mess so these people can come after me like the mob, I might not do it for us. But you could try it. All right, boo.